Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome. And yes, I'm back from a very short break, and from that short break, I'm here to talk about the new album from Auto Creator called Persecution, which is out now through Cruciator Productions. So, Auto Creator are a black and death metal band from France, who have so far included in Persecution have um, brought out four studio albums and they consist of Loic Fontaine on guitars and bass, David Bailey on vocals and Kevin Paradis on drums, but he's more of a session drummer. So, um, Persecution has this historical influence with it and this is like persecution of Christians during the Roman Empire be it such as decapitation, execution, lapidation, damnatio ad bestias, which is essentially where a condemned person is killed by wild animals, dislocation, imprisonment, and even banishment. So, with all that out of the way, what did I think of persecution? Did I like it, or was it persecution of the years? Well, let's just find out. So, during this video there will be a whole number of adjectives, so it's going to be like an adjective salad. So please take a drink every time when I say crushing, punishing, relentless, you know, etc, etc. But to really get into it, we'll start with the opening track, which is called De Gloria Martyrum et Confessorum. I hope I got that right. Which starts off with this like bleak atmospheric intro which then launches head first into this like brutal riff and there's like just this like relentless drumming and one takeaway of this track and the whole album is the drumming is absolutely relentless throughout, almost mechanical sounding which is you know like a huge strong point for me. When the vocals kick in, it's like a consistent deep growl from the depths of Hades, which never falters. Also, like there's a small section in the song which just sounds absolutely punishing, and the best way to describe it is I just play it for you all. <laughs> It's only brief, but very effective and earns the title of the album, which is Persecution. Also, I like the, for a bit of pizzazz, and that's for a lack of a better word, it's like a lot of bleak atmosphere is like interspersed through this song. The Great Persecution is a bit of a slower song, but has this real nice chugging riff in the song that sounds heavier than a 200 kilogram deadlift which, you know, you guess, sounds crushing. The mechanical drumming comes swinging out the gate for the next song, which is called DCLXVI, which I'm sure you know is Roman numerals, which makes everything that's fast-paced slower in comparison. Also, the chanting in the song is a nice add, and it just adds more to the atmosphere. Antichristus reminds me a little bit of the band portal especially the opening part of the song just listen to that and you'll know why it's a bit more mid-paced than the others well you know for the most part and it's the longest offering on the album clocking in at almost 10 minutes so in all honesty what i described here is essentially the whole album although there's like an interesting surprise on the album closer apocalypsis which is like a total change of pace there's like this whole tribal influence and sounds a little dungeon synthy if it was actually not synths i know that's a bit of a strange thing to say do i have any nitpicks well the only nitpick i have for this album is the guitars take a step back quite a few times on this album and I think that's just to make way for the drumming. But, you know, I am actually a fan of the drumming, so it's only a minor thing. Overall, you know, this is going to be a positive one. It's definitely tilted towards the extreme side of metal, so if you like this and you like 
albums with a bleak atmosphere and crushing heavy riffs and just relentless drumming, this album will no doubt be for you. So yeah, go pick it up. So that was me talking about Persecution by Auto Crater. Have you picked this album up yet? Please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. Just want to quickly plug a couple of things like my socials. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be including links to them should you wish to give them a like and a follow in the description section. Also, if you're feeling utterly generous, I've set up a buy me a coffee page. So if you want to throw a couple of pounds my way, feel free to do so. I'm not asking for much, just, you know, like a little bit of chump change or whatever for a chump like me. So that's all that's left for me to say. I've been the dude who talks. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you soon. Oh wait, um, there's also something that I wanted to tell you. So I promoted myself being on Half Melted Brains Records um, a couple of weeks ago. And if you listen to it, you may have noticed there weren't any songs on it. Um, I just wanted to explain that it was just a little bit of a miscommunication. Um, you know, with it being a radio thing, I thought, you know, like you just list the songs and they just put the songs on for you. That clearly wasn't the case, so yeah, kind of really embarrassed myself on this one. I definitely, I think this was just me just like not putting the songs on or something. I kind of felt a bit stupid about it. So if you're looking to hear some good tunes picked by me, I do sincerely apologise. That was just, um, yeah, it was just a miscommunication, that's all, nothing more. So yeah. For reals now, see you later.